Well, in view is uh, the right kidney that I am showing you, and this is the transfer section of the right kidney, uh, showing normal pyramids, cortex is equigenicity is normal, central sinus echo complex is normal, the uh, parenchyma is okay, cortex is normal, and uh, no calculus is seen. This is the hilar region where you can see the vessels entering and leaving the uh, kidney. Imagine to come on a saru, and uh, you can see in the hilar region that uh, there renal artery, renal vein can be seen. Applying the power Doppler. Just a minute. So this is the uh, status of the renal artery. This is uh, the this spot is indicative of the renal artery, and uh, the signature waveform signature is in front of you and uh, here the, the resistive index is 0.63 with the pulsatile index being 1.65 and the signature of the renal uh, artery is seen normal is patent and this is the uh, right kidney that we are studying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now what the issue is, why this uh, case has been selected for a video study, I want to show you that uh, now let's go systematically. Now see this is the liver. And the liver does show a bit uh, irregularity of the outer margin mild irregularity of the outer margin is seen along with the diffuse increased parenchymal ecogenicity and mild coarseness. This is the uh, left lobe of the liver. This is the left lobe of the liver, the left hepatic vein, chorate lobe of the liver, and this is the ligamentum venosa. Uh, curved linear structure that is in front of you. This is the aorta. You can see vessels arising. This is the superior mesenteric artery arising from the aorta, this one. And uh, there is uh, no adenopathy seen in this region. So this is the uh, left lobe. Now coming towards the uh, right lobe of the uh, liver. Now this is the right lobe of the liver. Lamba salia. And if you see that uh, the right lobe of the liver, this is the right lobe of the liver, and this area that you are seeing is a mass, solid mass and I'll show you its heterogeneous as well. Mm -hmm. This is the mass measuring 15 into 12 centimeter approximately with the uh, fluid seen in the pleural space. This is the right pleural space we are seen from this angle and uh, now this is the pleural ethereum. I'm showing you from another angle. This is the liver. The right lobe of the liver is uh, normal and this is the pleural effusion on the right side, whereas on the uh, left side, the spleen is normal. Eleven point four up to twelve is normal. This kidney is normal in size, and the both holes are clear. No calculus, no population seen, and there is no pleural effusion on this side. That side is clear. This is the urinary bladder, and this is the prostate. So nothing uh, wrong in, on this side. Well, this is the heart.
hepatic veins, you can see hepatic veins are normal inside, caliber. Now this is a mass, understood? This one is a heterogeneous mass, a large mass. And from this dimension, it measures approximately again uh, 13.7 centimeter by 9.4 centimeter. And if you see, it gives a heterogeneous appearance. It's very well demarcated. See the outer margin. This is the outer margin. Now the question is, let's see the kidney that, uh, now this is the right kidney that I am showing you, and from the right kidney, from the upper pore of the right kidney, you will see uh, this is the mass, this area, this is the heterogeneous mass, sorry, this is the heterogeneous mass, solid mass, okay, measuring 14.5 centimeters from this region with, uh, and see the well demarcation. Now this is the gallbladder. This is the demarcation, uh, outer margin is very well demarcated. This is the normal level. And this is the gallbladder. See internal cystic areas which are representative of internal necrosis and degeneration. So this is the mass. In fact, total mass I am showing you. The mass does show uh, vascularity. You see, you can see the vascularity within the mass, both arterial as well as uh, venous. Now this is the venous and this is the arterial keeping in view this bar. So now the question is that uh, is this uh, an intraperitoneal mass or a retroperitoneal mass? You know that uh, the uh, intraperitoneal mass will uh, displace uh, where is the uh, perirenal fat by let's see. Uh, read the pectomentastillar over there. Let's see the uh, retroperitoneal fat line. Now the retroperitoneal fat line with the liver. This is the mass. And the retroperitoneal fat line is uh, not clearly visualized. In this region, this is the gallbladder. So good. And uh, this is the kidney. And see that the uh, retroperitoneal fat line is rather displays seriously and this mass if you see this is the kidney now in fact it is not uh, relating to the kidney rather this is the kidney from this uh, scanning plan this is the uh, now this is the upper pole of the right kidney. Upper pole of the right kidney. And this is the mass. All of this is mass. Whereas this is the liver. So mass, though uh, pressing upon the kidney, uh, anterior margin of the kidney, but uh, but at the same time, if we note 
the the uh, this uh, anterior capsule is intact, though the mass relates to uh, appears to be relating to this uh, anterior uh, capsule, but it's not related to it. In fact, uh, now the upper uh, um, uh, sorry, the upper pole is clear. Whereas this mass, the well demarcated mass, is in the retroperitoneal location because it's relating to the region, uh, it's very close to the right kidney. There you see. And I can show you the kidney. And here is the so anterior, uh, this is the longitudinal section of the kidney. It's only when I move the probe towards the left side of the patient that I get this mass. And uh, see the ecogenicity of the mass. So, this mass does not relate to the kidney or it relates to the kidney is the biggest question when you come across such pathologies. Now transfer section, here is the mass. Now from that angle it was appearing as if it is not relating to the uh, kidney, but it is relating to the kidney. You see, now you can see uh, that it relates to the upper pole of the kidney. Here, in, from this view, you can see that. This is the kidney in transfer section, and this is the upper pole. This is the mass, total mass. So it relates to the kidney. It is uh, expanding uh, the, uh, you see from here, it expands the uh, upper pole of the kidney, extends laterally and as well as posteriorly, does not cross the midline. So this is uh, in fact, now this is the liver. You see, this is the right lobe of the liver, complete right lobe of the liver, spared from the mass. This is the mass. And I, when I move the probe posteriorly, and when I move the probe downwards even, I get the kidney with the mass. So, uh, renal cell carcinoma, hypernatroma uh, is the... Uh, sonographic impression in this case. Now we know that uh, such masses, they, as, uh, they have spread through IVC. Now this is the IVC. And see, this is the IVC, this longitudinal section, here it's entering the uh, heart. Here these ecogenic areas, two ecogenic areas, these are consistent with uh, clots within the uh, IVC which is not dilated. Now not only that, you this is I am going to show you portal vein now and you will see that there is a there is a clot in the portal vein as well. This is the portal vein. This is the aorta spin military cartridge. The portal vein measures eleven point six and the clot measures approximately 16 mm by 10.6 millimeters. There is also uh, now this is a clot in the uh, portal wing, this one and this is the clot in the eye we see this one. See a globular area you are seeing, you are seeing the flow as well. Okay. Just see it. 
we will not see the flow from within the uh, area of the clock. You see, let me clear it for you. Now, now see. It. The IVC is not totally blocked by. We see a little bit of uh, flow anterior to the clock. This is the IVC, and you can see this is the clock, this area, and there is flow. Uh, towards the heart, uh, uh, running anterior to this clot. Regarding the purple vein, again, you will not, we will not see flow in the region of the clot. signature of the hepatic artery. Uh, this is the hepatic artery where the and uh, hepatic, hepatic artery is showing normal wave form signature with rest, uh, the resistive index of 0 0.80 and uh, pulsatile index of 1.73. However, there is difficulty in getting the uh, portal vein uh, because of the uh, status of the patient that he is unable to hold the, uh, the hold the breaths but let's give another try let's try again they say don't give up Now let's try from the Saro Prabhuji, sir. Now if I just try to uh, get the flow velocity 
of the so port or way. It comes to about 21.5 centimeters. So the velocity, blood flow velocity is raised. And uh, this is the IVC again with a clot. This here. This is the IVC, a clot, portal vein clot within it and a mass solid heterogeneous relating to the upper pole of the uh, of the right kidney. Okay, the rest of the kidney is normal, showing normal uh, blood flow steady. Interlobar vessels show normal waveform signature. So okay now having gone through this that's the review the plural PN we saw and uh, this is the mass when I move the this is the right lobe of the liver this is the total liver now rather see it. this is the right lobe of the liver spared left lobe of the liver total liver this is the total span of the liver that is in front of you and uh, this is the mass with uh, it's when I move the probe downwards it relates to the upper pole of the right kidney. And it extends downwards and laterally with Glottonites and protovane both. Thank you very much.